Here is one small British company's story set in the hardest of economic times. Our mission? To be a profitable net label. And so begins our acquisition trail of nostalgic music and video. During 2006, we pick our partners carefully, the orchard for distribution, and we list our shares on plus markets, raising a million pounds. The digital landscape is changing, and social media sites emerge as the darling of online gossip. It's 2007, and we really start to feel the buzz when two American music visionaries join our group, Scott from The Orchard and Mary from KTEL, both becoming our eyes and ears stateside. Amazon opens its MP3 store. Apple launches the revolutionary iPhone. This will change the way we consume digital entertainment forever. As we welcome 2008, performances by icon Tina Turner, Pavarotti, and thousands of instrumental film and TV themes are added to the fold. A hot wind blows in from Scandinavia. We say hi to Spotify, another music industry game changer. In 2009, we report a maiden profit. One Media, the little net label, has made its point to the industry and investors alike. Thousands more tracks are added to the catalog as the company continues to reinvest in its content is king model. Hello 2010, another good year for our shareholders when One Media becomes eligible for VCT and EIS investments. Meanwhile, Apple introduces the first iPad. And just look at the roster of artists and tracks now in our library. Over 140,000 tracks. Hey, it's 2011 and it's a classical world. Music performed by the RPO and over 1,200 hours of other great classics from other orchestras worldwide. Oh, and that's me, Dave Cash, with my beloved Aston Martin, looking a little slimmer as the picture's a bit old. One Media let me loose on their music library, and over a thousand albums later, the Dave Cash collection was launched. All this digital content has to be stored somewhere, so we built our servers a home at Pinewood Studios for unbelievable uploads and bandwidth. But they all look the same. In 2012, when well, iTunes sees our first 100 pop videos featuring the good and the great from the 60s, and then our eyes go square shape as we tune into TV and acquire the early sooty shows and we listen with mum, who knows best as we know. And we release kid stories read by Rick Mayo, Lenny Henry, Judy Dench, and Patrick Moore. Then a change of gear as we go all petrol head and lads mag, and buy the Men and Motors channel from ITV Granada. 3,000 episodes of high octane fun. With smart TVs just around the corner, we launch our first 10 YouTube channels and watch our viewing figures hit 100 million minutes in year one. TV viewing has changed forever, and we are there. So it's 2013, and if you're superstitious, we must have our black cat firmly in check. We invite our stockbrokers back for round two, and we move markets and trade our shares on AIM. So what's next for us? The times they are changing with new digital mediums and more investment in content. Cars dumping the CDs and going online. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and 4G delivering music and film wherever and whenever you want it. 
And behind some of this, little old One Media, investing in its content, its IP brands, and delivering it to its customers via 600 digital stores. Let's talk again in the next six years, and at that time, I'll bet we don't even need a computer.